In this problem, we're told a box rests on a frozen pond, which serves as a frictionless horizontal surface. If a fisherman applies a horizontal force with a magnitude of 48 newtons to the box and produces an acceleration of magnitude 2.2 meters per second squared, what is the mass of the box? So let's go ahead and draw what's going on. So we're told we have this box here, and it's going to be resting on this pond. And we know a fisherman is going to apply a horizontal force with a magnitude of 48 newtons. And so we know it's going to be horizontal, and we have this force being exerted on the box. So we have this force, 48 newtons, and we know it's going to produce an acceleration, uh, and the acceleration is going to be equal to 2.2 meters per second squared. So we know the force is 48 newtons horizontally, and the acceleration is 2.2 meters per second squared. Next, let's write out our given. So what are we told? Well, we're told the force of the box, right? So force equals 48 newtons. We're told the acceleration, so A equals 2.2 meters per second squared. And then what are they asking us for? They're asking for the mass of the box. So I'm just going to write that M equals question mark because that's what we're trying to find. So in order to solve this, you need to know uh, this formula, which is force equals mass times acceleration. So this formula we can use in order to solve for mass if we're given acceleration and force. And so when you solve this, make sure your force is in newtons and your acceleration is in meters per second squared. If they're not, just convert them to that, because if you want to solve this, they have to be in those units. If you're using the metric, right? So 48, we can just plug in and solve for mass, right? Well, actually, first we can just manipulate it. So if I divide both sides by A, you're going to get that mass equals force over acceleration. So now we can just plug in mass equals our force in newtons, which is 48, over our acceleration, which is 2.2. So if you do 48 divided by 2.2, you're going to get the mass is equal to 21.81. I'm going to round to the tenths place, so just round to this 8, 21.8. And then when you do this, your mass is measured in kilograms. So if you're using newtons in meters per second squared, it's measured in kilograms. So the mass is going to be equal to 21.8 kilograms. So this right here is going to be your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.